The folks from Ballet Crypto have presented me their pro series. And most of the people who have heard of Ballet only know about the real series, which is the one that Bobby Lee gave to Bruce Willis and gave to Adam Beck and to Trace Mayer and to all of the social media Bitcoin influencers who have taken pictures with this. And it's not quite the most secure setup that you can get because you have two parts of the private key that have been printed in two different geographical regions on the planet, one in China and one in the United States, and you have to trust that there will be no association between them. I mean, there is a guarantee that somebody makes to you, but the spirit of Bitcoin is that you don't have to trust or you shouldn't trust and you should always verify. And if you follow that spirit and you still want to get a ballet product, you have to get the pro. And for the pro, you go to this page and you have two options to buy and see the tech specs. So as you can see, it's made of stainless steel. It has the color of sapphire blue, which is different from the original real version. And it supports all of these coins, but honestly, you should only use Bitcoin. And if you want to buy it, it costs you $99 for three of these. So $33 for each which in itself is kind of like a paper wallet, but more resistant. And I can see the use for this if you want to give someone Bitcoins and they have been, they have had no prior exposure to how Bitcoin works, but they know how a credit card works. And to them, it's going to be an instant association in their mind. Possibly if you go with a Trezor and tell them just use this, it's going to be kind of confusing to go through the whole setup. But with this, they just have a QR code that anyone knows how to use. And you can act as their trusted third party as opposed to having ballet as the trusted third party. So you generate a BIP intermediate code. It's called intermediate, but it's actually kind of final because after this, you generate a cryptographic code that gets sent to the people from ballet and from there, they're going to print it on your device, and that's it. That's going to be it, but you are the one who is in charge of the passphrase. And I was speaking of gifts of Bitcoin, if you want to give somebody who is a no-coiner or a pre-coiner an amount, let's say 0.1 BTC, you generate the passphrase, you have the code, you give it to them, and you're going to have a backup of the passphrase just in case they mess up and they lose it, and also, they're going to have one so they can experiment and learn. I mean, that's how I would do it with, if I were to give my father some BTC, even though I don't think he would be interested at all and would just look at me like, you have spent precious money on something I don't want. But there are more open-minded people out there. And in order to do this, you have to access the BIP38 dictionary, which consists of 2048 words. And you take words and you type them in here, and then it's going to generate a code. But the recommendation is to be offline while you do this process. So I will switch off my Wi-Fi and then pick some random words from the list. Maybe 24, 28, 32, it doesn't matter as long as it's a multiple of four, and it's recommended to have a high entropy. And also, you have you must write these down, or else when you receive your Ballet Crypto Pro, you're not going to know how to use your funds in case of an emergency, how to withdraw your Bitcoins to a wallet like, I mean, not withdraw, but access your coins from a wallet like Electrum. And as you can see, the first step is to generate this BIP38 code. And after that, they're going to print it and ship it to you. So you are the only person who's going to know the private key. You don't rely on a service which has two trusted parties that supposedly don't interact. 
you're just walking on that don't trust verified territory and you're sending them something that cannot be decrypted because it has a high entropy and it is very strong encryption. From this point of view it's as cypherpunk as can get even though you sign up to their database so they're going to know that you ordered a product from them but in regards to the kind of data that Ballet Crypto stores from you I'll ask Bobby Lee all this kind of stuff when we do the interview for the Bitcoin Takeover podcast. But for now, I'm going to switch off my Wi-Fi and I'm going to get a confirmation here. As soon as it discovers that I don't have an internet connection, which already happened. And now let's go through this dictionary and pick some words. Let's see bamboo because Okay, this is another early experiment of mine. Bamboo, because pandas love eating bamboo, and pandas are cool because they're Asian, black and white at the same time. And camera, because it's nice to take pictures of pandas eating bamboo. And then, you have to keep it cool, man. Just keep it cool at all times. Don't panic. And sometimes it's good to deny stuff, because it helps you cope with situations, but don't go too far. You gotta have some ethics. Where did I see it? Here. Ethics are possibly the most important human value. And ginger is very nice to have as a spice, as a condiment. You can use it for tea. At least that's the way I prefer it. And your hair, that's what matters, man. People say I have the best hair in Bitcoin. I take that for granted, okay, just don't burst my bubble. And lobster can be delicious sometimes, so I gotta put it here. I mean, you can say that lobsters are nasty, but I like them, so I don't care. Palace, I mean, if you don't live in a citadel with fellow Bitcoiners, you might as well buy yourself a palace, assuming that you get rich enough. And it's important to live a private life and keep this private keep private if that makes any sense and remember all of these words if you're capable but don't rely too much on your brain because your memory can play lots of tricks on you and it's good to have a sibling in life they can support you when you need some support and syrup is sweet these Keto maximalists who only eat meat will not like syrup, but whatever. I don't think I'm one of them anyway. And yellow is an interesting color. I don't wear much yellow, but I don't blame people who do. It looks interesting. Reminds me of summer. And you should keep a noble attitude in life and be nice to the people around you. And legal stuff. I mean, that can get confusing if you don't read it properly, so you should pay a lot of attention to the legal details. The Galaxy was my first smartphone by Samsung, and also it's good to have evidence of whatever you do, and engage in debates on Twitter because that's a lot of fun, especially if it's against someone who's as smart as Peter Todd. And the 21st century turned out to be quite interesting, but not in the way that people expected 50 years ago. Biology is a subject that I did not enjoy much in school, but I like much more right now. And uh, let's pick excess because that's one of the human vices that is very hard to temper and we have to be aware of it and acknowledge it when it hits us. Gossip can be nasty. Don't engage into gossip, please. And limbs. How are we supposed to live our lives and eat and feed ourselves and hunt and work unless we have any limbs? Let's put notable because it's a notable entry in this list. And quality because nothing is more important in life than quality. 
And let's count the words and see if their amount is divisible by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 at remember. We scroll. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 at Galaxy. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 at Excess, 24 at Gossip, 25, 26, 27. Let's pick one more. One more, randomly, just this. Mango. Who doesn't like mango? It's delicious. And then you generate the intermediate code. And voila, this is it. You take this, you send it to Ballet Crypto, and there's no way for them to decrypt it and get to this. You should have this written down by the time you order, and this is necessary for you to order the Pro version. Or Pro Series, or whatever. So if you're into this and you don't trust the setup of the real Ballet Crypto, you should go for the Pro. GoPro is always better, I guess, even if you're talking about regular regular situations or, you know, cameras, shooting sports events, it's good to have a GoPro. So after you do this, you just follow the steps. I'm not connected to the internet anymore, but if you hit buy, you're going to be directed to the screen and you pick either a Bitcoin Legacy 1 prefix wallet or one with the BC1 SegWit native address. You pick the quantity and you have all of these details about it. You add to cart and you have to contact them by email and let them know what your phrase is. And it seems like their first production batch is going to run out pretty soon. You shouldn't FOMO though, there's going to be more. And that's it, if you're into cold storage and you want this simple solution, it's possibly a bad idea to trust any company with printing your private key, but if you generate your own and it's cryptographically impossible for them to decrypt your seed phrase, it's better to go this route. It might be an extra step, it might be a bit of a headache to pick the words, even though it's kind of fun, and this is all open source and available on the internet. But once you have this, you send it to them, and that's it man, you're all set up. So thanks for watching and listening, and possibly in a couple of weeks they will send me a Ballet Pro Series wallet that I can experiment with. And it's going to be fun, I guess. I'm not sure if it's my way of storing bitcoins. I'm kind of more leaning on the hardware wallet plus system that never gets connected to the internet. But that's just my own opinion and my own approach to it. If, you know, if you have different expectations and preferences, who am I to judge or who am I to tell you not to get this? Because otherwise it has a very nice form factor and it, it has all the simplicity that you don't find in other products. If you want to give someone some Bitcoin, this is possibly the best way. Even though I think using a mobile wallet is just as fun, but this ballet also has a mobile wallet as far as I know. So this has been it. Thank you for watching and listening. and. I hope you will be listening to the Bobby Lee interview because I feel like he has a lot to say and there are many questions that should be asked about the trusted setup of the basic real series. We know how the pro works, but the real one, that should be inquired and debated.